Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So it is a gloomy morning. I think it might, oh, I think it is raining right now, actually. I am going out to Asakusa to go to an interesting shop. So I got invited to go to a shop called Kimono Shoes. And what they do is that they use recycled kimonos and turn them into sneakers, which I thought was really unique. So I'm going to pay them a visit today and also maybe pick out a pair of shoes for myself, which is exciting. And then I am planning to meet Sophie and we're probably going to go to a cafe around Asakusa since I'm already there. So yeah, just going to finish off my breakfast, get changed and then head out. Can you give me a speak? I am in Tokyo Kimono Shoes. They invited me to their store and everything is so beautiful, guys. All of their shoes are handmade from recycled kimono. So I was very interested in their company when they reached out because I love using Japanese fabrics for my uh, dog bow business, Cafe Sheep. So I was really interested to learn about their vision and what they do. So I'm gonna have a chat to the staff to find out more about their business. So I am with the staff at Tokyo Kimono Shoes. So do you wanna introduce yourself? Yes, so. of course. Um, hi everyone, um, my name is Nana me from Tokyo Kimono Shoes. Um, I'm doing PR and strategy of our company and today I'm very excited to uh, talk about our company with Kim. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. So, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm yes. really excited. You're welcome. Um, I wanted to know mm -hmm. how did mm -hmm. this company start mm -hmm. and uh, why? Not many people know but uh, actually we wear kimono but uh, after we wear kimono we throw it away mm -hmm. and uh, we wear only for special occasions in Japan mm -hmm. and which is really sad. So we wanted to do something um, to protect our culture and mm. retain the Japanese culture we have. Mm. And our, um, we started buying a, a new silk kimono mm. to make them into beautiful sneakers. Mm. And that's how we started our business. Everything is handmade. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how is it made? Mm -hmm. So you source the kimono. Mm -hmm. That means you can't make a lot of mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. item, right? It's very yes. special mm -hmm. each piece. What you can do at the shop is that you can choose kimono or obi, mm -hmm. and you can choose the color of the uh, the, the leather, mm -hmm. and then also yeah. um, you can customize your shoes. Right. Yes. So if it's customized, it's mm -hmm. this is made to order. It's not you can't mm -hmm. just go into the store and buy it, right? No. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long does it? Take um, it takes about uh, two months to two make months. because right. we're making all by hand. The help uh, with the um, company called Akusto, yes. it's an art center company, which is about five minutes away from here. Okay, and uh, they're making shoes by hand for over that's seventy awesome. years. Oh, that's so yes. cool! <laughs> yeah, so I asked if I can visit because I'm so yes. interested to see how everything is made. Mm -hmm. We can't go today, mm -hmm. but. I'm gonna pick a pair of shoes later yes. and they said that when my shoes are ready mm -hmm. maybe I'm able to go visit the factory so that's gonna yes. be awesome because mm -hmm. I started my dog bow business and mm -hmm. like, I know how long it takes to right. do everything because I have to mm -hmm. cut everything myself yes. I have to make my mm -hmm. own patterns mm -hmm. as well and mm -hmm. then yeah it takes a long time yes. so mm -hmm. two months is actually not that bad for mm -hmm. shoes that's mm -hmm. completely handmade right. from scratch mm -hmm. These are just some of the fabrics that they have bought out. There's a lot more, but I told them that I really like pastel mm -hmm. pink tones. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to choose though. There's mm -hmm. so many beautiful patterns. Mm -hmm. And we can also choose the leather, right? Yes, leather. Oh boy. <laughs> and I was kind of like having mm -hmm. a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. All the peachy tones. Mm -hmm. 
the flowers and I like how it's got a little bit of shimmer to it because I do have a lot of dark shoes mm -hmm. and a lot of my clothes are kind of pastel mm -hmm. I do think white is gonna go well with a lot of clothes I've got mm -hmm. gold is it's beautiful but I feel mm -hmm. like it's more formal so I think <sighs> this one will yeah. match more to your the style you have now yeah I yeah. think so oh I don't know Mm. Like think uh, when you walk casually and when you I have wear, a day, you walk a lot. I wear jeans and mm. skirts. Jeans? Yeah. I do love this one a lot, but I just, I do mm -hmm. feel because of what I wear, mm -hmm. it might clash with mm. my clothing. Okay. But this one, because it's very toned down, very pastel, it will fit with like everything. Even mm -hmm. if I wear like dark colors, light colors, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, so this... Mm -hmm. In size 22. Okay. Thank you so much. This is a tax-free shop. If you bring your passport, you get 10% off. So I have finished a Tokyo Kimono shoes and now I'm off to a cafe to meet Sophie and Luke. Oh that was super nice meeting them and I can't wait to get my shoes. It's better than the other one, the really fluffy one. Mm -hmm. the sometimes the one. real fluffy ones can be a bit peggy. This is better. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's nice, it's refreshing. Because mm. it's big, but it's really refreshing as so. well. Because there's only one guy doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's all made to order, so it's super fresh. But he must have just been in the back scooping out the pineapple pieces one by one. So minty. Oh, is it good? very good. Oh.
This is good. I can really like it. It's very tender. Some training. Training? Let's go. Let's do some training. Stick. Lara. Be away. Chora. Spin. Spin again. One more time. Yeah. Bang. Nice. Wait. It is getting very late so I think I'm going to go to bed now. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I had so much fun in Osaka so going to Tokyo Kimono Shoes, learning about their story, their business. I cannot wait to receive my shoes. Um, I will get them in about two months time so when I go I will vlog that for you guys. Also hanging out with Sophie and Luke was really nice as well. It's just very chill and cooking. I really missed filming cooking videos like in Australia I film them, you know, pretty often, maybe once a week, I believe. And I remembered that you guys also really enjoyed that segment that I got a lot of comments asking me to cook again. When I moved to Japan, Eric and I were like saying, we're not going to cook. We're just, go we're just going to eat out every single day to explore food in Japan because we're only going to stay for like, you know, maybe one or two years. So I'm going to make the most of it. So we did that. But then after a while, you start feeling sick and you just want to eat homemade food again and I actually really enjoyed cooking I just didn't want to clean up so whenever I cook usually I make a mess so these days when I cook I'm trying to just do like one pot meals just so there's less cleaning and also I'm using my dishwasher which makes things so much easier uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think about the new angle um, I found a way where I can stick my camera to the top so I can get like an aerial shot of my cooking um, and then I guess in the future I will do my best to you know be more in depth with my cooking so you guys can follow along with the recipes if you want um yeah I think I'm going to head off to bed now because Hina is waiting for me yep there she is yeah you want to go to bed come here you are so sleepy do you want to say goodbye to everyone yeah or do you want to go pee pee do you want to go pee pee yeah you want to go pee pee yeah okay okay we'll go pee pee all right guys I'm gonna take her out to pee I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye